Hope you all have practiced uh, the <clears throat> last uh, HTML tags. Uh, today we are going to uh, learn another few tags. Uh, you can see here there is only one line. I will take this markup language into second line. So this code is already saved. Uh, you remember this file? Last I whatever I have. Uh, created file and uh, if you all want to create a new one so you can start to type this old tags and save it as give her any name and uh, don't forget to type here dot html after that now uh, this is already created this source code I will save it again now I will run this uh, html file You can see here uh, this one display as a single line but in source code I have uh, uh, sent this uh, markup language line into second. Now if I again press enter and send the language word into third line uh, what I am going to do I will go to file look at this carefully I will save it then source code is saved into the current situation then in your browser you can press this uh, refresh icon then what will happen uh, it read the current uh, uh, we saved this source code and it display uh, the changes or either if you doesn't see this uh, refresh icon you can press uh, f5 function key on the keyboard so uh, what i'm going to do i will press this one but there is no change because you type how many lines here but it display as a Look at this it display as a single line here it display as a single line no change then how we can break line into uh, how we want so what you have to do I need to send uh, I need to display markup uh, language uh, into next line so then there is a tag for that I will uh, type this greater than and less than then you type here br br is a single tag there you no, not need to close this you can go to file you can save this we will we'll see now what is uh, <coughs> what is the current situation you can see the uh, markup language started from the next line uh, then if i want to uh, send this language uh, uh, word into next line what you all have to do here even uh, you can type it here br I would like to send this one down and type it is clear to you all here I will type br I will go to file I will go to save then if I press this one you can see it uh, jump up to third line right now what will happen if I take this everything into single line but you can see br is there wherever I want I will go to file I will save it current situation then I will refresh it now you can see even source code if you type it as a one line if you included br from that uh, places the cursor will send to next line then word will go to next line this is how you all can use br tag br tag helping us to send the cursor into next line so I will take it down right uh, likewise we'll think it uh, so this hypertext is our uh, topic then I want to send uh, another uh, two three line this markup language uh, that two words then you can include another uh, few uh, BR according to your choice then now we will see what happens now what happens is what you experience here it sent to another three uh, cursor lines down you all can see the much that you want you can include then you can send this uh, te text or whatever content here if you put a br then because uh, uh, whatever bottom of this br will send to next line uh, i think you all got experience right next i would like to talk about uh, paragraph tag so what is the use of paragraph tag children I already typed some te uh, dummy text is there uh, then uh, you can see there are a lot of uh, you can type much that you want and uh, 
So uh, I'll delete it for a moment. Uh, I will get this paragraph first and I will paste it here. Then I will present it. It goes to that uh, much it can uh, go down. Uh, I will take this down. Like you can see uh, now, like a, look like a paragraph. I copy this one. I'll paste it, paste it to here. Now after that, uh, no br nothing. Only just like a two paragraph within body tag. I'll go to file. I will save it. Now we will see. Uh, now uh, here you can see I use same uh, <clears throat> page I have saved this one in the same page and I'm doing this you all can save each your uh, example into another new one then go to your folder and run it uh, then you can see the output then I will refresh this one you can see everything the source code looks like a two paragraph everything into uh, as a one paragraph you can experience now how we can display this one like a two paragraph there is a tag I said that is called paragraph tag what I'm going to do is I will include here P P is a double tag then you need to close it wherever you want okay this is my first paragraph I will close this paragraph tag and I'm going to start another this is my second paragraph then again I will type P and here I will close it now uh, we will see how this is look like I can I press ctrl s to save this a shortcut key then I'll go to this uh, uh, web page which I created I will refresh it now you can see it is look like two paragraphs so uh, this is how you can if you are working with a paragraph you can include this uh, p tag okay uh, p and after that uh, this is where I were your text or something goes uh, within that then uh, you need to close this paragraph tag okay likewise you can include and uh, I thought of uh, to give you experience uh, I'm closing uh, I will close this uh, web page which I created I will save this one like in certain next one or new one I'm going to change this one uh, I'll type uh, web page or any name you can give according to what you create dot html it is compulsory if you uh, if you haven't type extension it will save like a uh, text file children then it won't run within your browser if that is that again you get a uh, notepad type it correctly when saving it is compulsory to give it here name whatever file name dot html is compulsory it is must then after that save it you you notice here it create a new web page because uh, I want to give you experience that's why I created that so uh, after that uh, we'll run that right you can see it's already experience and uh, uh, when we are working with the paragraph tag there are some attributes attributes means this uh, paragraph tag have some uh, another few properties we'll see what are those okay those are called attributes now uh, first attribute is line okay there are a line there are uh, uh, three four options is there first one is left p align left but uh, even if i include this one you cannot see any uh, changes because already this is a line left whatever we have done it is a line left children uh, but i will save it file save refresh you can see there is no any changes then uh, i i thought of uh, not enough text in there then i'm going to add uh, this part also as a this uh, uh, first uh, like a one paragraph uh, then uh, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm, I will copy and get this for, to create the second paragraph. Uh, I'll leave it here. This is first paragraph is align left. Then I'm going to include here p space a l i g n equal second option uh, second uh, attribute is center p 
align center this is good for uh, if you are typing any um, topic or something or something you want to center within your web browser web page so then uh, you can include this paragraph align center and uh, this is i will close uh, we will see there is a lot of text uh, you can see this is centered if that is not you know clear full to your uh, there uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll keep this one like topic delete that we'll see now what is the change you can see here it is centered within your web browser okay so then uh, that is paragraph align center the next what I'm going to do is uh, third one P align right we align right then I will close it here then I'm going to close this now I have pressed control s after that I will refresh now you can see this is align right this you can see this side is straight this one left side is straight okay right uh, then third one uh, sorry uh, fourth one last one then we will see how this look like uh, for that case uh, center go down a little bit then I pasted that whatever text that I type then here P align justify the align justify children so then here you can close the type we'll save it now we will see how this look like this is justified you all know if you uh, remember microsoft word so there we have you know learned justify it will straight left and right both uh, in your paragraph uh, the text will be straight here uh, so uh, when you have you know a paragraph so it is beautiful if you can you know apply this uh, paragraph tag uh, so this is how you all can uh, work with para uh, paragraph tag so there are attributes that is left children center p align uh, right and justify uh, please copy these uh, br tag and uh, then uh, after that this paragraph tag uh, and practice it well if you all have any doubt uh, type uh, your question to my personal number thank you